Hey guys, it's Suburban Nights with another, another tutorial for you guys. I'm using my Logitech USB microphone right now, so I might sound a little different, but I'm kind of getting off topic, so let me start on today's um, tutorial subject. Today I'm going to show you how to do stuff with Terminal. Terminal is a handy little, little utility, well, Unix based utility for the Mac. Um, the Mac. And it's the equivalent of command prompt on the window on Windows. But we're going to be concentrating on Mac today. And I'm going to show you how to do four things on Terminal. The first thing is how to play cool games. Uh, I typed out some files, so I actually know what I'm doing. Um, going to use these for reference. To play Snake, a handy little game that you guys who've played arcade games before but know how to use. I wasn't alive then, so I probably wouldn't know. But I like the game. First, you want to type Emacs, press return, then press the escape button, and then press X. Then, when it prompts you on the bottom over here, you want to press snake, well, uh, not press, type. And then you get a handy little game of snake, and you're trying to avoid yourself. I know, it's a little weird. Okay, so we have that. And then let's do a second one. In this one, now we're going to learn the second game, and this is how you can play Tetris on your Mac. So launch your terminal, type Emacs again, press return, press escape, press X, and then type Tetris. And then you get a little Tetris game. It's a really small thing. It's kind of um, barbarian, but it's fun to play, and it's kind of like the real game. Okay, so now that we're done with the game, we're going to get to some more stuff you might want to know about. So, for, uh, my first command is on Safari, usually if you press on a link, it'll open that link as a separate window. But if you want to make it as a separate tab, you would use this code right over here for in terminal this little handy code I highlighted right here I'm gonna put these in the description so don't worry um, and just do this one I already did this so I don't really need to do this and a cool one you guys might not know this say you're using um, Safari's private browsing at work and you think your boss cannot see what you're doing you're goofing off going MySpace and they can't see it but your boss can easily, and your IT boss can, not your IT boss, what? Your IT guy can easily see what you're um, um, doing in private browsing by doing this code over here. So a cool thing if maybe, I don't know, you have brothers or sisters to type this code in. And it'll tell you exactly what they're, they have been browsing in private browsing. So private browsing isn't as safe as you, as you think it might be. But how to get rid of your catch files that that basically tell where you've been during private browsing you just use this code ds catch util dash flush catch and it gets rid of all your catch files which is basically what your computer what websites put on your computer wait not, not put on your computer so when you go back it'll load faster since it'll already have parts of the file on your computer. So these have been some handy terminal terminal um, th um, things to do with terminal. So after you're done watching I'd appreciate it if you comment and rate it and if you really like my video I'd welcome you to subscribe. Thank you.